Okay, so I'm sure some of you are curious, what am I carrying when I'm uh, out for a year? So I wanna show you um, my equipment, <laughs> I guess you would call it. So, and, and if you wanna see what, this is a hostel room, it's a private hostel room. So this is the bed. I've been here for a few nights, so it's not tidy. And I have a shower. Now, that in uh, Asia, and actually in uh, Europe, sometimes they have these wet showers, so. Proper shower, proper toilet. And uh, so when you shower, everything gets wet, but I mean, it's dry as fine. Um, so this is the room I have in Penh Pen. Air conditioning, there's a fan. Lots of room, and I have a fridge. So I went to the store down the way and I did get some stuff for um, snacks and drinks. So I wanted to show you everything I'm carrying in my bags. I have it because um, everything I have, everything I need is in these bags and some things I have gotten rid of. And I'll tell you the reason. I'm not sure what the best way to do this with for me to demonstrate. I'm trying to, I have a tripod that also goes into a selfie stick, so I use for the camera. Um, my big bag here, it is a 60 liter. Um, it has been awesome, it has side pockets. It has um, a shoe, a spot for my shoes. And when it's on, it's, it's really quite comfortable. I mean, it looks pretty um, floppy right now. This is a nice waist, but when it's on, it is really, really comfortable. It weighs maybe uh, 15 kilograms when I have it all packed up. And it has my shoes, my jacket, and my clothes. Now how I pack my clothes is, is I use packing cubes. Um, kind of keeps everything organized, especially when I'm going into that backpack and I'm pulling things out. I just grab those four packing cubes of my clothes. And um, you know, one, one section is like, shirts and um, shorts and one is bathing suit tank tops and that's all the the four cubes is all the clothes that i have with me um and then i have clothes on me i do usually have like a laundry bag that i kind of as you go you get your laundry laundry is super super easy to get done here you can get to uh, any laundromats and sometimes these hostels, they'll do it too for you. And it's really, really cheap. They weigh it and it's like, you know, $2 or less than that. And they sometimes press it for you. I don't need my stuff pressed. It's a little too fancy for me. I am, uh, I do have a pair of runners, a pair of uh, walking sandals and a pair of kind of, those black shoes are kind of little loafer shoes. Maybe if I'm dressing up, I've already had to go through a couple of pairs of shoes already and replace them on the go, which can be difficult if I am six feet tall. So my foot size is size um, 41 in a European size or size 10, nine and a half, 10. So it's sometimes really difficult to buy these things when you're especially in Asia. <laughs> Clothing doesn't always fit me properly. Um, so that's my bag, that all goes into my bag. I have a jacket, I have a rain jacket. It's my pink jacket here. And that goes in usually to the very, very bottom of my bag. And then I have a backpack, a small day pack backpack that when I'm going around town, I just throw, you know, water snacks and things into my day, day backpack. This is a sleep sack that I use for if I'm in hostels. I don't use it so much anymore because they have sheets and proper linen. So I used this a lot when I was on the Camino. It's like a sleep sack because there wasn't always bedding, but that's that goes in the bottom. I do have this bag. It's kind of like a, a grocery kind of bag, but I haven't really used it yet. So I, things that I don't use, I, should, I, I have been get rid of things, clothing, when I was, I don't need warm, long sleeve clothing so much anymore. I carry one uh, long leggings and I have a button up shirt that I just put on. Um, so that pretty much goes into my big bag. This is my front pack, this is 35 liter. This is the one I used when I was on the Camino and it, it has a waist strap as well. And how I wear it is what I just kind of put snacks and uh, maybe a couple clothing items in, in here. And it work as a front 
I don't my boot. These are my Buddha bags. That's my big Buddha. And this is my little Buddha. And I'll have, uh, you know, my, um, like wiping my face, brushing my hair, hairbrush, maybe a change of clothes in there as I travel. All of my electronic gear, my laptop. I do travel with a laptop. Um, my battery pack. Battery pack is really, really important to as you travel because sometimes you need to charge your phone and you found an outlet but it's too far from where you're going to be sitting so you don't want your phone stolen. Charge your battery pack off to the side and I mean if you lose a battery pack it's not a big deal. It's still out money but um, you don't want to lose your phone. That's very important. Very uh, important piece of uh, equipment is your phone, your passport, your credit cards are my three most important valuable things to me. Um, I also carry a fanny pack, which I wear over like this in here. I carry everything important, my passport, credit cards, and phone. Um, and this will always, is pretty safe and secure. I wear it at the front. Um, I haven't had any, any threats with pocketers, but you always have to be um, aware of your surroundings. I have a small little handy umbrella holds up really tiny and that goes into my big pack. We have had a couple days of rain here in Penetton, so I have I used this today, but it was actually refreshing. I didn't need that. The other thing I do carry is kind of a, I guess a utility bag. And this I could probably go through and get rid of some things too, um, like a scarf. Needed that for head covering in some of the temples. Um, but I have two of them now. There's a couple of bandanas, lots of bandanas. Uh, I have zip ties, I haven't used them yet. Um, just odds and ends. A headlamp, which I haven't used since the Camino. I'd like to get rid of that too. So <laughs> I kind of been carting around this. And then another dry bag for, um, for the beach or something. I haven't used this at all either. So, you, you know, these kinds of things you don't really need. This is my mascot. This was Smoochie. And this was given to me by a friend from Vancouver Island and he was photobombing a lot of my photos. Sometimes I put him in my photos and sometimes I forget. So he kind of carries some of, I do squish him down and he can fit into this. This is kind of a, an everything bag. I, I do carry um, a utility knife, a knife and um, I have a knife and fork and spoon plastic thing for um, if I do get something in the room. Yogurt's nice to have a spoon. So yeah, that's about it that I have in my pack. Um, and between the two, if you see my profile picture, you'll see the two packs on me. Um, I don't really walk far with the big pack on. I have walked, you know, I think uh, seven kilometers one day in Bordeaux. I was just stubborn and I should take a taxi, but I didn't. Most of the time there's always tuck tax. It's only a couple dollars. My hostels are usually booked quite close near the bus stations or my hotels. So I'm not really walking that far. I don't mind getting off the bus after six hours and walking a little bit. So as long as it's not stinking hot, it's um, not too bad. But that pack is super comfortable. Uh, if you get a pack, get one that fits you well and um, try not to overpack it. I, I probably could downsize a little bit more here too, but um, you get kind of comfortable with it. Um, uh, I didn't, I'm not bringing clothes that I have um, they're, they fit comfortable, but they're not nothing I'm worried about losing or if I can leave behind. So I do have everything up that I own in storage back on Vancouver Island at my brother's place. I don't even know what's in there and I don't really miss anything. So um, these kinds of things you, you learn as you go and comfortable shoes are most important. Sunglasses and, and, and you know, can buy everything that you need. Um, there's stores in all of these countries. Um, I've had to buy, you don't need tons of shampoos. You can just get the small bottles and then you're always able to buy it. And they even sell it in small travel packages, which is actually kind of neat, uh, terrible for waste, but it's a plastic society here for sure. And that's uh, kind of my pack. So those are my two packs that I carry. And if you see any of the pictures, that's how I am packing. And a lot of times I can get on a grab scooter and this has happened twice. I get on one of these scooters, which are taxi scooters. They pick you up and I've worn the pack and, and he carries the front pack. So a really, really cheap way to, if you feel comfortable on a scooter, they give you a helmet and they're called grab taxis, grab but on a scooter and it's pretty cheap. So 
it's the way I took kind of travel.